We are live. Well, we're not live <laughs> when you see this, but we are live living in the flesh right now in Galway, Ireland, my hometown. So it's delightful to document a part of the, the fabric and tapestry of my hometown. And we're at a fascinating place called Engage Art Studios. And our guest at this time is Grace Mitchell. Hi, Grace. Hello. No, thanks. Grace, what is your role in the in this art studio? Um, I'm the managing director. All right, so we really couldn't get a better source to find out more about Engage Art Studios. Am I right in saying that this is a relatively new space that has opened up recently? Yeah, well, um, Engage Art Studios has actually been around since uh, 2004, and we were in the cathedral building in Gorey City Centre on Abigate Street. Oh. And that building was sold a couple of years ago and um, there was a subsequent rent increase yeah. so we moved out of there and found, um, found this place instead. Oh um, right. And it actually turned out to be, at, at the time it seemed like it was going, it was kind of pan out stations, we were, we were quite worried about the, how things would pan out but it actually worked out really well for us because yeah. we found this kind of better, bigger, brighter space and our own space was kind of, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, was open in that. It was, big massive stairs and um, there's no stairs here so it's really accessible <laughs> and it's, um, it just makes getting in and out a lot easier and um, there's a lot of us have kids to say and it's easier to ship kids in and out of here and we do um, work uh, workshops and for everyone it's just easy. It's, a, it's an easier building and the, it's got lovely windows and high ceilings and so it really um, kind of what could have potentially have been a disaster ended up being something very good for us. Yeah, one thing I did notice, uh, this is my first time actually being in this building, is that it is very bright, as you said, and obviously that helps a lot when you're making art, I would presume, anyways. Yeah, I mean, it was really one of the, when we were looking for the new premises, we'd I kind of surveyed all the, the artists and, and asked them what they wanted, and they wanted somewhere that was big, bright, central, cheap, you know, affordable, high ceilings, you know, there, there was a big list of demands. I was kind of like, all right, we're not going to make all these, you know, that's a pretty, pretty big list. Um, but we, we found this place and we were kind of blown away by it. It's kind of, you could see the potential for it. Yeah. Um, quite, um, like we, and the first time we visited it was a, a dark, wet November day. And um, we came in and all the, wind, the shutters were closed, but immediately we could see that the, it had the potential to, yeah. to be something special. Um, so we moved in um, last January, so like 13 months ago, um, and it was an awful lot of work. Mm. Everyone pitched in to, and we had to move about like 15 years worth of crap from the other side of town, yeah. down the stairs, across, across um, Galway in, in here. Um, I can imagine that would be difficult, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it took an army of people that was... Like all of the, the artist's memories and all of their husbands and wives and boyfriends and girlfriends and mums and dads and kids. Yeah. <laughs> right. Excuse <coughs> me. All pitched in to, kind of, to make it happen and That's good, that's nice. Yeah, it was it was a real team effort. Like when we because when we moved in here first it was just this really kind of it, it, this used to be a doctor's surgery. So all the walls were painted kind of magnolia and there was blue carpet everywhere and um, kind of examination tables and yeah, it, it, it was like a doctor's surgery <coughs> so it was an awful lot of work to get it kind of um, cleared out and painted and set up at the studios um, so we kind of did that fairly quickly in fe kind of January, February yeah. get the studio so that the artist would, would be able to continue working because yeah. all of our um, members would be practicing artists they don't like have Exhibitions and projects that they've been working on, and the disrupt the disruption having lost their studio, we didn't you know we didn't want them to be unable to work while the transition happened. So it's sure. kind of very important that we get that kind of done as smoothly as possible. So we should say though that uh, yeah, the Engage Art Studios has just recently moved here. Let's say yeah. not recently anymore, but it is quite recent because it still feels so very recent. Yeah, well, well, I mean, you said that. Uh, Engage Art Studios itself isn't a new, it isn't new, but how would you, so for people who don't know what Engage Art Studios is, how would you kind of 
provide a brief summary of its activities and maybe a little bit of its history too. Um, so it's, like I said, it was um, established in 2004, so that would make it what, six, coming up in 16 years old. Um, and then in 2012, I was incorporated as a company. So it kind of gives us a kind of legal status, which allows us to kind of like apply for more, more grant funding and apply for, um, like have leases and that just gives us a legal kind of structure. And then um, and we, our primary function is to um, provide workspace and studio space for artists. Um, that I suppose their secondary functions would be to kind of put on um, host exhibitions and public programming and um, workshops and things like that. But the kind of the, the main the main activity of the of the place would be to provide artist studios. And how many artists are there here <coughs> currently? <coughs> uh. Actually, we have we have um, seven studios in this building. And we have another building in Francis Street in town with oh. six, um, six further studios. That, that place isn't open to the public, so people don't really know that it's there because it's, the artists just go in and do their, do their business. Is that where the really famous artists are? Now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the top secret people. Donald Trump comes, goes over there to oh, paint gosh. every now and again. <coughs> I doubt he paints, but anyways. <laughs> yeah, it's... Um, it's it, I kind of how the second how Francis Street happened was mm-hmm. um, the cathedral building our, our original space was so was full and there was a huge demand and there was there was one one artist in particular and he had been on the waiting list for a year and a half huh. um, he was on the waiting list I went away he went on maternity leave came back and this guy was still on the waiting list I was like ah here um, we need to do something so um, we said about getting us getting setting up Francis Street where we we didn't know it was going to be called Francis Street. Yeah, <laughs> we, yeah, found, yeah. We, we needed to find additional space, um, so we did that. Um, How can people uh, apply for a space, and what is the cri- sort of criteria? Actually, we're currently accepting membership hmm. for our membership. So, if, apart from people who have studios, um, there'll, there'll be a lot of artists who might have studios in their home. They might have their their box room converted, or you know, shed in the garden or whatever, and converted into studios. Um, but kind of. Being an artist is very isolated yeah. occupation, so a lot of artists like to be kind of, you know, part of the gang, yeah. in, in kind of part of a, a group of like-minded people. And so we have this thing called Oracle membership, um, where people can be members and they can come in and they can use our kind of workshop facility and digital equipment and um, take part in group activities, um, but they don't have a studio here. So <laughs> that we we're accepting members for that at the moment. Oh, right. um, that's a good idea and that's a that's <coughs> interesting, it's an interesting point you raise. Yeah, it's um, that it can be quite isolating for artists to be artists and this uh, you know, engage also provides that for people to that group yeah. experience. And then yes, yeah, so it's can be like people can come up with frustrations with regards to like applications and funding and all these kind of things and just to meet with other people who are you know, experiencing the same problems or you know, get a bit of advice and that kind of thing. Um, and it's so, open to people from all over the the world. I mean, let's say all nationalities, yeah, all cultures. I mean, it, we absolutely, but there might be no, there might be, there might be much point in being a member of, in, like, unless we can kind of, yeah. Um, like we kind of say the West of Ireland, and and people are like, oh, well, Kerry is the West of Ireland. And I'm like, yeah, Kerry is the West of Ireland. But it'll be a little bit commute. So yeah, but then, like so we do have members in. Mayo and a few in Clare, maybe. Oh, really? Mostly, it would be mostly Galway. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, so uh, another thing I wanted to ask you before before we maybe actually keep talking about Engage itself is we're currently <coughs> in Galway, and uh, what, what would you say? Is there any way in which you would describe sort of the art scene in Galway? It's a very broad question, yeah, but it's very broad and it's probably <laughs> difficult, very difficult to answer, but. Uh, when people talk about the arts, they tend to think about it in a very uh, urban scale, but I think that goal is quite small scale compared to really big artistic centres. Yeah, so. I suppose um, Galway has a very good reputation for the arts, uh, the arts broadly, um, but I think a lot of that is based on kind of 
uh, theatre and literature and mm. um, film, the, the visual arts, I don't know, maybe it's just a far away hills kind of thing, but the, the visual arts have been quite, I wouldn't think there's the same resources there mm. for the visual arts as there would be for other art disciplines. Um, the, the, the lack of uh, municipal gallery is a big issue that always comes up. Yeah, um, that's a big one, yeah. That's and then the reliant on temporary, reliance on temporary spaces to put on exhibitions is quite frustrating. Um, you know, for the likes of the, the Gory International Art Festival, who, who seem to have a very good knack for finding these big empty buildings and transforming them into galleries every every few years. Yeah. You know, and then there's this, oh, that's, you know, they're Paul Faggy's after finding this amazing building and he's, after turning it into this amazing art gallery, wouldn't it be great if it was a permanent thing and then it's used for two or three years? Yeah. And then some business comes along and, and, and rents it out and turns it into a, a pub or... Yeah, right, know, right, right. Um, it's quite frustra- frustrating, you know. Um, um, so I think if there was, if, if there potentially was a permanent space um, and our visual arts weren't constantly reliant on kind of finding a scratching scratching for space it would be sure uh, so, but 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 you did say that engage does also help with the exhibition side of things i mean you host exhibitions in here as we well we do um yeah we, that was one of the good things one of the, the really good things that came with us being for three locations this we found this building um and there is a small room for a small gallery and um, so it has allowed us to kind of like before last year, it was just Provision Studios was our main um, activity, and now with the new premises, we've been able to. This room that we're in here is a workspace that we put on glasses, and I'll show you in a minute the, the, the gallery space. Amazing. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Well, we are human beings, sometimes we cough, oh, it's alright. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they're being able to open up a kind of a, a project space or gallery or uh, allowed us to just kind of bring bring new um new a new exhibition space to the to the city which brings us a sum total to three of three um all <laughs> right yeah. well why, why don't we go over there right uh, right now and uh while we, while we walk over there, I, I do say, I do want to say that I appreciate you doing this despite the cough. I really appreciate you taking the time. It's difficult. Oh, you can lead the way so that I can just... This is, like I said, the first... Oh, all right. Gallery, so... There's actually a word of at the moment, so it's just to wash a white and to keep... And it smells of fresh paint. Yeah. Now, you mentioned this building, what was it before you said? Um, so, before we took over it, it was a doctor's surgery. Um, before that, it was an industrial school. Oh, right. Um, run by the Christian Brothers, I believe. Yeah, because so, when, when I took the taxi here, the taxi driver actually said, is that where the industrial school is? I was like, yeah. no, there wasn't an industrial school there. That must have been, he must have been thinking of a long time ago. Yeah, though. I think so. I think the building was built in the 1870s. Um, as kind of a orphanage slash prison for boys. Oh um, yeah. So industrial school, and um, that closed. I think in the I think in the early nineties, um, and then it was it was taken or uh, turned into a, a doctor surgery, which it was until two thousand eighteen. Right. Two thousand eighteen, the doctor retired and. The, um, the practice closed. And so this is this is one this is the gallery. This, this room is the, is the gallery for people that exhibit their works. There's going to be an exhibition here soon, actually, right? Yeah, um, we kind of have a we do our last exhibition, um, which was in um, association with Winter Papers and the Galway City Arts Office, um, just finished on Saturday, um, and the next. Exhibition is opening at the start of March, so in a couple of weeks' time. Right. And um, that's to do with um, Galway 2020, their uh, White Atlantic Women. It's kind of a um, yeah. weekend to celebrate International Women's Day. So we'll be having an exhibition called Home with Truths. Oh, right. Um, that's um, cool. Yeah, it's in response to um, testimonies from women who've been through domestic violence um, that are harrowing. 
I've probably heard a little bit of them, but um, the artists are creating work kind of in response to that. So it's been a very kind of humbling yeah. um, project because you know. Wow. Um, yeah, it's kind of yeah. It's been, it's, but I think the 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 work is going to be quite powerful and strong. And powerful, yeah. yeah. The women who whose testimonies they are are, are quite passionate about the project and they're, they're yeah. Um, you know, they're they're on board with it, so it's not not, not unlikely. You know, because it's a very tough subject, so kind of being, <laughs> being very cognizant yeah. of that. It's, also, yeah, you mentioned it's Galway 2020, so hopefully Engage will play a big part in that, right? The yeah. year long as um, European Capital of Culture. Yeah, European Capital of Culture. So, um, yeah. Have you got any more events planned or are you still looking well, to plan them? This will be the kind of on. Um, we have our full year of programming planned, but as part of the official Capital Culture uh. branding, this home prints exhibition is one and then there's going to be another one in December um, but we'll have, we'll have, we'll have our, our, our own programme that'll be separate to that as well. Excellent. All right, so we'll be looking forward to see, seeing more uh, from Engage in the next few days. Let me just take a shot of what you can see outside <laughs> in the gallery. It's nice to kind of get a sense of the environment and the world around the, the art gallery itself. All right, we are actually Precisely in Churchfield in Salt Hill. Yeah, that's what it's called. All right. So, uh, what else can we can you show us uh, in this? Um, not, not a whole lot because the studios are closed. But I can show you our kind of our back our back kitchen slash living room. Yeah. Um, and then we have the kind of our our kitchen area. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and so that was kind of our first ex kind of our, our launch exhibition and we were kind of I suppose when we were deciding our program we very much wanted to have a kind of a, we wanted to have a combination of kind of emerging artists and um, more established artists and kind of give give I suppose artists the very different stages of their career yeah. a bite of the cherry mm -hmm. um, so we asked more and name to to um, curate our first exhibition for us. And Very she good. really, I mean, the first time she came for a site visit, the place was at still a building site. There was piles of rubbish and carpet and wires sticking out of the wall. Um, yeah. So she, but she was, she, she was able to, to see the vision, you know. Um, Excellent. Yeah. So. Um, That's very nice. This is. I mean, essentially it's a corridor, but it's kind of our, our kind of a shared workspace. All oh, right. So we've got a couple of computers and... Well, this, I presume, is where also people do editing yeah. stuff, video yeah. editing. We're hoping to update our computer. And it's always good to examine <laughs> a play, any place's bookshelf to see what what there is. Yeah, and it just hides some of the dodgy ones. Is Ross of oh. Kelly, Mamma Mia is an essential reading for any artist. I've never heard of it. I don't know why, I don't know why it is here. It just Maybe we can do a book <laughs> review of that. I don't, I don't know it actually. But uh, the, re the rest of the books on the shelf are fairly le legit though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, Leonardo da Vinci, I've never heard of him either. But <laughs> some, some spoofer from Italy. Ah, yeah. Oh, Faust. Wow. This is really highbrow stuff. Let me see what else is going on here. All right. Okay. This is. Yeah, unfortunately, all the the studios are not because the. Of course. Um, they're private. They're they're. Yeah. Working studios and it's their, the artist's private. Well, private this is studios. all stuff that you would see, <coughs> in. Uh, in a studio. How many d artists did you say are in this building? Or There's would nine be? in this building. Um, yeah. We've about, about 30 yeah. members all together. Um, and they're all artists of different kind of uh, forms and... Yeah, uh, we have a lot of painters. Yeah. And then second to painters is photographers. Mm. Um, we've got a few printmakers and a few sculptors and a few ceramicists mm. and textile artists. Actually, we have no ceramicists at the moment. Um, we'll look but, into that. <laughs> You'll be looking into that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, how, so, how big are the studios? Just to get an idea. Of... Um, they're about the size as the first room that we were in the, oh, the workspace. Right. Kind of, but they vary. I mean, the, the um, they vary from about eight and eighty square foot to about two hundred square foot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, because some people, like depending on how they work, might only need like a little space with a desk and a computer. Yeah. And then other people that. If they were like painters, and might need some a big, yeah, a big wall to do kind of kind of large canvas. I was I was going to ask actually, what kind of facilities do you offer these artists aside from the space itself, which we just talked about? Um, so each of the students, Wi-Fi, I suppose, but <laughs> well, that is a necessary <laughs> thing for sure. It really is, um, and then each of the spaces has kind of wash-up sink in it, yeah. which is kind of remarkable to find a building that has that all the rooms have sinks in them because right. it's kind of most buildings don't have sinks in all the rooms <laughs> yeah it's a small thing but it's important for kind of washing brushes and things it's like true that. yeah um and then i don't know, like there's windows and the shutters and that we got um daylight bulbs um in all of the studios because mm. um it's quite, light is a very important thing for, for artists um and then kind of resources we're trying to um, do kind of group crits and uh, peer reviews and um, get do collaborations with curators and curator visits come in and mm. come in meet the artists so it's all kind of part of their professional development and oh yeah having kind of extra supports for artists so yeah what is a group group crit it's where you all sit around and judge each other oh right <laughs> <laughs> It's, um, so it would be it's a way to of, get comfortable with it, being criticised. Yeah, I suppose it's kind of um, artists would present their work and then um, their peers would ask them questions and maybe um, critique their work a little bit in the hope of, um, you know, if they're in a, in a slump or not sure of their, their direction. It kind of, it kind of fo focuses people to articulate what they're, what they're doing as well because sometimes, you know, if you're working away in a, in a studio silently, um, 
being forced to stand up in front of the group and saying this is my artwork and this is what it's about forces you to actually get those ideas go get those ideas straight in your head a little Abs bit. absolutely yeah. well that sounds fascinating uh grace it was really lovely to meet you i think this might be the first introduction hopefully hopefully fingers crossed to more videos in uh in, in engage when we will make, we'll, we'll hopefully be taking a look at some of the exhibitions. We'll try to make that work out somehow. That would be great. It's, it's pretty now that the, we're kind of between shows at the moment because... Yeah. It's, <laughs> that's right. You're looking at an empty gallery, isn't and it? And that's, well, you know, I, I love to capture this space as well. There's another exhibition, I think, from Engage. Um, thanks very much for doing it. Let's, <laughs> let's, we'll walk back to where we started, I suppose, and that would be nice. Any, any final thoughts about the place or... Oh, I don't know. I, I, I can't remember what I said to you. I'm kind of rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> well, nobody really has any final thoughts ever when I ask that. That's why I kind of like to ask that as well. All right, so just going to walk back to... So yeah, the, this room that we, we started off in is our, our workspace where we do, it's, we do classes for mostly kids, but we've started doing adult classes as well. What is, yes, what is this here, for those who don't know? It's a printing press. Ah. For um, doing etching and things like that, so you put the you put your um, etching plate down here in your paper, and you roll it through, and then it comes out the other side. It's a cool. It's an image. And this is the student enrollment form. Yeah, very exciting. <laughs> All right. Thanks very much. Yes, Thank thanks. you. Thanks a lot. And from <laughs> Engage Studio, I will zoom in exactly the spot where we started the video. In three, two. One.